ladies and gentlemen, welcome to The Awakening. I'm your host, Caleb Blue, and I'm so excited to have you here one more time. We've been dwelling on the reality of living for the past few episodes, and we've been on five important questions every man must answer, which is, why am I here? Question of vision, of purpose. Who am I? Rather, question of, of identity. Why am I here? Purpose. Where am I going to vision? How will I get there? Mission and who do I need to get there? These five questions are very key. And then we've answered the first three, which is who am I? Uh, identity. Uh, why am I here? Purpose. And where am I going to? Now today we're going to be answering the question, how do I get there? How do I get to where I'm going to? Now since you've known who you are, you are a God. You are made in the image of God here on earth. You are representing God here on earth. And we've known your purpose for being here. And we said your purpose, first of all, basic purpose for every man is to love the Lord, to love your neighbor, to preach the gospel, to belong to a local assembly. Now this is key. To teach people the word of God and to pray and so to pray for all the saints. And then we also said you can you, you have specific purpose for your life. So you ask yourself some basic questions what do you love what are your hobby what skills do you have so you can identify your basic purpose for yourself and then we've also identified how to discover your vision your vision that's where you're going to and we said vision is a picture of a preferred future and it's important you make it simple and plain so anyone that reads can understand and you write it down which is very key and now since we've known your vision the question now is how do i get to my future my preferred future i told you last week that my vision in life is to be a leading herald of the kingdom of heaven through strategic kingdom expansion over all the nations of the earth now I'm, I'm going to ask myself how do i become a leading herald of the kingdom of heaven how do i do i mention that I'm, I'm going to strategically strategically expound the kingdom of god uh, throughout all the nations of the earth now how do i do this how do I get here? That is my mission. Now, I took time to research on those who have done similar things, who have become leading heroes. And then I looked at their similarities and their qualities. And I discovered that for me to effectively achieve my, my vision, uh, I, I have to align it specifically to my purpose. My purpose is to proclaim the word of faith to the simple through practical teachings, illustrations, and modeling of the, of the word of, 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 of the life of Christ. So my purpose is specific talking about the heart of man. So I discovered for, that for me to effectively proclaim the word of faith to the simple and then become a leading herald, I now have to help men discover, uh, to dis help men discover, understand and renew their minds. So I was able to craft down my mission to be, to equip men and nations to discover, understand, and renew their minds now that's my mission statement now this statement guides me so i know this is these are the things i'm supposed to do this is how i'm going to do this are the basic things i'm going to do basic qualities that will be seen in my messages and each of my messages i intend to to renew to help you discover to help you understand better and renew your mind so you can become a better person and a better nation a better people so some question i'll ask you now you've known your vision now you've written it down. So how are you going to do it? Study those who've done similar things. Check out how they did it. What qualities did they portray in their life? And then pick up these qualities that align with your purpose and then with your vision and craft a statement, a guiding action statement. It can be bulky, like objective, five-point objective, five-point mandate. But then simplify them and break them down into a sentence, into a simple sentence. That you can read and understand and also write it down it's always important to write down these keynotes now i believe you take the time and do this with us no man will help you to craft this down god has already helped you by giving you a vision now the bible says in proverbs chapter 20 verse 18 the bible says plans are established by counsel and wise counsels which war so for you to establish your plan you have to take counsel take counsel from those who have gone through where you're going through the bible says through faith to learn from those who through faith 
and patients have run, have, have done, have run around the race. So learn from those who have gone through the path you are about to go to. Read books of them, study about them, so you can become a person of value, and you'll be able you you'll be able to avoid the mistakes they made. God bless you so much. Next week, we're going to look at who do I need to get there. And I believe you're going to be with us. Please subscribe to this channel. And God bless you richly. Looking forward to next week.